The problem with having no teeth is the inability to chew food. For all the evolutionary advantages of the owl, that's its biggest problem. It has to swallow its food whole, only to throw up the indigestible material in a disgusting little glob known as a pellet. It's smart, then, that developer Chrome Studios left all mention of pellets on the cutting room floor during this game's development. If you're creating a game that emphasizes the owl's grace and elegance, there's no room for puked up nuggets of bones and fur. Now I only bring it up because, in a sense, Legend of the Guardians, the Owls of Gahul, reminds me of that unsightly digestive process. As pellets are to owls, so is this to video games. Stop it, the two of you. Shameful. Not that I should be surprised. A moist lump of gameplay that tastes good at first, but will later be thrown up. Based on the CGI adaptation of Catherine Lasky's Guardians of Gahul novels, The Legend of the Guardians is essentially a game of feathery flight combat. Now, I'm no ornithologist, but after closely observing its behavior in Legends of the Guardians, I'm convinced that the owl has a genetic relation to the fox. Or at least, the star fox. <laughs> Fans of Nintendo's Talking Animal franchise, and even games like X-Wing and Rogue Squadron, should be comfortable behind the... the talons of Legends of the Guardians. You play with the Wii Remote held sideways, guiding your bird through open environments with subtle steering motions. You can also attack unfriendly animals by flying within range, locking your sights, and using attacks that are mapped to the D-pad. Now the combat works, and the ability to counter attacks with well-timed button presses feels satisfying, at least at first. The problem is that nothing changes. You wait for things to evolve, for the gameplay to progress, but it doesn't. And as a result, Legend of the Guardians feels too simple and repetitive to keep you engaged, even for its very short duration. But at least the combat works. The biggest problem with Legend of the Guardians is steering your owl. Motion controls are sometimes a more precise alternative to analog sticks, but sometimes they're not. Case in point, using tilt to steer. You never feel like you have total control in Legend of the Guardians. In fact, I frequently found myself wishing I could just take to the skies with analog control instead. Good motion controls create a kind of seamless symmetry between what you're doing and what's happening on the screen. They don't make you wish for a wave bird. Unfortunately, Legend of the Guardians does, and among the many things it doesn't do, is learn from the mistakes of tilt-based flight games like Lair. Although it's not as bad as one might expect from a game based on another terrible movie, it's not exactly worth putting on your radar either. For all the things it does with surprising competence, there's a lot in the very short and awkwardly controlling Legend of the Guardians you won't be able to digest.